Good morning, everyone. We are making our way down to the river right now, and it is cold out. But that's a good sign because fall is upon us, and the salmon and brook trout are making their ways up the river so they can spawn. And of course, for people without a boat like me, that gives access to big breeders that, for a lot of the year, are either slow to come by or you just don't see it all. We have a great shot at a four plus pound salmon or brook trout. Last night I hooked on to a big, big landlocked salmon and unfortunately I lost it. And I was a little disappointed at the time but it doesn't really matter in the end. I'm gonna have all kinds of shots like that. So let's see if we can't get one more today and maybe put it in the net this time. Hold on a second, I gotta go back and get my camera. So there's this drift boat over here and it is just stunning. So <laughs> I gotta take a couple photos. Look at this, it's a beautiful scenery. Uh, it's really hard to see in the video, but wait till I show you with some editing. I mean, just check that out. Beautiful. Um, but anyway, back to fishing. The ultimate goal is to catch some fish today, but I do kind of like to do some photography every now and then on the water. All right, now uh, the passing of time is a, it's a really difficult thing to show um, in a video, but uh, anyway, I've been fishing probably for like a half hour, a little longer now. Had a couple of strikes on this Estaz um, uh, leech with a hothead, but uh, didn't get much else, and unfortunately I lost the fish that I got on it. So now I'm just switching out. I think I need to fish a little deeper, so I'm tying on this tungsten stonefly that I've been tying up lately and these things are awesome. They look great and the fish seem to love them so we'll try that out, give that a few casts and see if that makes any sort of a difference here. That was fast. Holy cow. On the stone fly. It's a big ball fish. Oh, it's huge. Or what is this thing? Oh, it's a salmon. Jeez, he's not very feisty. Oh gosh, uh oh, this is not good. Now she's feisty and she's stuck in the net. Uh oh, <laughs> this is a train wreck. <laughs> this is ridiculous. How am I gonna do this? Oh, cow. What a pain, I don't know what I did there. All right, today I did decide that the first fish gets to be on its way. One more look. It's a nice, beautiful male salmon. And he's off. All right, so first fish finally hit the net. Earlier in the morning, I had a couple bites on a black um, variation of a golden retriever. And I thought that was gonna be the key and I switched it out. It wasn't really working. And then I put on this tungsten stonefly that I started tying up and these things, they look awesome and the fish love them they're really different than what i think a lot of people throw and uh, if you do want some i'll tie some for you and you'll be one of a couple people that are fishing these in main waters right now i think i've only sent out a few to people i've been testing them out to see if they work and they are killer they have a little bit of uv in the bottom so if you want to try this fly out just uh, contact me by email or on my instagram mainly.flies 
and I'll tie some up for you. And then you'll be one of the few people who are fishing those in Maine right now. now having a little bit of a unique pattern, I think, uh, can really help a lot, especially on a day like today when the fish are being a little bit picky. It's kind of slow today. Uh, a bunch of people started moving in up there, so I just decided to hike it out. I did end up catching this one brook trout also on that stone fly, but I got a couple knots. <laughs> if you have a shot at some big fish, fix your knots. It doesn't matter how long it takes. As soon as you hook onto that fish of the day, chances are you're gonna lose it. So we're gonna head back down to the water and try some new spots. I haven't explored this river as much as I should. So that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. Hope for one fish that we can cook for lunch, find some new spots, and so let's get right to it. All right, so I worked my way down to this nice big pool. I still got that stone fly on there. I switched back to that Staz leech. And immediately getting a fish here. Wow, nice. That was like my third cast here. No, oh, this feels like a really good fish. This feels like a really solid fish and it's not coming up, but this must be a brook trout. I hope. If it's a brook trout, it's like a two, three pound brook trout. I see silver though. What is this? Ah, oh, so this time it actually is a fall fish. <laughs> this is the biggest fall fish I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. This thing is huge. Definitely gonna be my PB. What on earth? I didn't know they got this big guy. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was not expected at all. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. That's, this is pretty cool actually. Got this guy on that stone fly as well. They're just loving that stonefly today. It's pretty much the only thing that's caught fish for me so far. I'm not gonna do a catch and cook on this guy. For one, I don't think these are great eating. And two, this is my PB fall fish, so I cannot eat them. <laughs> so uh, we'll just put them back, I guess. One quick look here. Wow. I mean, truly a beautiful fish with that gold color. Very cool. So I worked my way back up to the near the dam. Um, a lot of people up here, but for whatever reason, they're all on the other side of the river. So uh, normally I see people on this side, but apparently I get it to myself for now. So I'll take it. Uh, it's been a slow day, so I really wanted to do a catch and cook, and I'm starving because I didn't bring any lunch and planned on doing catch and cook. But after that salmon, I actually never caught anything that was of keeper size. So. Yeah, I should have probably should have kept that salmon since you know it was my only lunch plan. But oh well, hopefully I can catch one here pretty soon. And uh, if if I do get one, then we'll do a catch and cook. On yes, doesn't feel big though. Probably not a keeper. So I switched out. I am using a partridge and orange, something I like to use to imitate caddis emergers. If there's blue wing olives, I'll use a small um, partridge in green, I guess. It's like size 16 to 20, um, depending on the size of blue wing olives. But yeah, this fish does not look big enough, but uh, we're gonna bring him in and definitely gonna get a measure on him anyway, because I'm really hungry. Yeah, not looking good. Just shy. An inch more and I could be than you. Guess it's your lucky day. Grow up so I can have lunch next time. See ya.
I'm super hungry right now, but I still think that I'm gonna post today because a lot, I pretty much every time I post videos where I do pretty well, and I'm starting to think that that doesn't necessarily demonstrate what fishing is really all about. And uh, you know, a lot of times you have days like this and you just kind of explore an area, try some new stuff. Uh, I caught a few fish. I mean, overall it was a good day, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I had a good day, but I am, I'm starving right now, so I'm gonna go find some food. But if you guys liked the video, hit that like button, and if you wanna see more videos, make sure you subscribe below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good night. All right, I was gonna close it out here, but I just realized that someone left me a note on my car vi or my truck's visor. It says, good luck fishing, been watching you on YouTube, keep it up, love the videos. Thank you so much. They didn't write a name, but thank you so much. That really makes my day even better. See, I can't say I had the best luck, but I had a great time. See you guys.